The Kennedy Space Center is coming up on a big anniversary, 60 years next month. Yeah, you can see some of the signs celebrating the anniversary. The multi-user spaceport isn't resting, though, on its past achievements. NASA is preparing to return to the moon for the first time in decades as part of its Moon to Mars strategy. Channel 9's Melanie Halt live in Titus Fella. Mel, we could see an uncrewed flight test around the moon this summer. And just a few miles from here, NASA teams are already preparing for that Artemis One mission. In fact, the next dress rehearsal begins this weekend. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. For nearly 60 years, NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida has played a key role in America's space program. It was at the beginning of our space program, the node, as it were, for, for getting the rockets assembled and tested and launched. This is where the decisions were made. This is where all the components of the team effort came together. Bob Seek remembers those early days as a Gemini spacecraft systems engineer when the Launch Operations Center was built. He would serve as an Apollo spacecraft test team project engineer as NASA sent astronauts to the moon. Lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. And later, a Space Shuttle Launch Director. Even in retirement, he's looking forward to NASA's return to the moon. When the, the Artemis Space Launch System uh, vehicle was being put together here in the vehicle assembly building. It reminded me of putting together that one in the vehicle assembly building. At this moment, NASA's new moon rocket and Orion spacecraft sit on launch pad 39B ahead of an Artemis One wet dress rehearsal. Artemis One is an uncrewed mission around the moon. Our next step is not to just prove we can go to the moon, but to go to the moon permanently. And this time, the moon is a proving ground for Mars. We've only ever visited the moon six times for maybe three or four days max. And so we need to li live on the moon and learn those lessons long before we go off to Mars. And the Kennedy Space Center also has a big impact on Florida's economy. In fiscal year 2021 alone, the spaceport had an estimated $5.2 billion economic impact. We're live here in Titusville. Melanie Holt, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.